everyone, Live It Like Lisa here and today's video I have my planner collection. I've been meaning to do this video for oh, months and months but I've just never gotten around to it so finally I've, um, I'll have i take you through and show you my little planner, well it's probably, yeah it's probably little compared to <laughs> quite a few people's collections and I am looking to actually pare it down a little bit as well because I just find there's a few that I'm just not really ever reaching for anymore so I'll take I'll set the camera up and I'll take you through and show you each one what brand it is where I bought it and if I can remember how much a lot of these were purchased quite a few years ago now so probably can't remember all the prices so um, yeah uh, let's get started. okay so we'll start with my very first planner that I ever bought and I remember I was about 20 and I started my first job in an office as like a, uh, I was like an accounts clerk, I guess, but you know, at 19, not knowing anything, I was basically like the office run around. So, you know, doing photocopies, the mail run, things like that. But I just thought I was so important working in, a, <laughs> in an office. It's actually embarrassing now when I think back. I used to actually take a black briefcase to work and I bought this, it, this is actually a daytimer planner and I think I bought this with like my second or my first or second paycheck of ever working and I wasn't earning very much back then and this planner I think was about oh, $140 it came with all the inserts and all the accessories and everything as well and I just thought I was so fancy going to an office every day with my black briefcase and my my daytime planner and oh my god it's really embarrassing when I think of it now but yeah so this is my very first planner before I ever even knew that there was a whole planner community out there it was just something that I've always been interested in as a little girl like having a diary and things like that so yeah nothing very fancy and I basically just used it to write my to-do list in every day I'd didn't decorate it back then, I thought it was basically just my to-do list diary each day. So that's my <laughs> very first planner. It's a zip, a zip up one, and I think it's only a vinyl, it's not even real leather. Yeah, that's a bit of <laughs> nostalgia for that diary. The next diary I bought here was a Bella Day planner by Debden. This wasn't a very expensive planner, I don't think. It was maybe around $50. And this was probably the first one that I bought once I, you know, sort of discovered the online planner community. And at that time, I, Filofax was the big thing that was in then. Filofax was everything. And I just couldn't really afford to buy a Filofax. So this was my substitute for Filofax, I guess. My daughter's uh, been using this when she was younger just to, you know, be like mummy, I guess. I had um, given that to her. But actually, I will probably will be getting rid of a few of these diaries in, in the coming months, I guess, or coming, yeah, probably after Christmas, I'm gonna go through them and, and get rid of some of these diaries because I just find I'm not really using them. This will probably be one of them as well as the first one I just showed you. So yeah, there's nothing really much to that one. It's just a snap enclosure. It had all the inserts and everything, but obviously that's, they're not there anymore and a few credit card holder things there. But um, yeah, I think that was about maybe 50 or $60, something like that. So that sort of did me for the time. The next purchases I did, and I'll get all of them because these are all the same brand. These are all Daytimer again. And they're also my little substitute for <laughs> not being able to afford a Filofax. So I had bought myself the A5 size day timer planner, which was because at the time my big dream was owning a Molden, a A5 size Filofax Molden in the, the purple color. So yeah, because I could thought I would never really afford a Filofax myself. I bought this Daytimer one. It's a very soft vinyl. I don't think they're real leather, but they're, no, I'm pretty sure it's a vinyl. Yeah, it's a very soft 
flexible vinyl. And this was when I did discover the decorating of diaries, uh, diaries, I keep saying diaries, decorating of planners, you know, um, doing an insert, your weekly spread and stickers and all that sort of thing. So this was sort of my first Filofax imitation planner that I had and yeah I really love this one. I probably will be getting rid of this one only because spoiler alert I did end up buying my purple Filofax Molden so yeah th these ones I probably will be parting ways with. It's actually a really nice planner though. It's got lots of pockets so you've got a, a big long pocket in there. You've got a zip enclosure here. Another big pocket there and then you have your card holders there as well as a see-through pocket there then you've also got another pocket at the back here that you can put a notepad in two more little pockets there and also a pen holder that is quite large and will fit most pens so yeah it's actually oh and there's another pen holder in here actually I've just realized so yeah it's actually quite a nice planner to be honest and the only reason I'd probably be getting rid of it is like I said because I eventually did get my uh, Filofax Molden so once I bought that I just wasn't really using this anymore so and that's in a nice sort of deep purple tone as well and I think this one oh how much were these these were getting up there they weren't that cheap I think they're around about the hundred dollar mark maybe with all the inserts it did come with all the inserts and everything at the time so that's that one and then also from the day timer i bought three of the personal size planners they're also the same style as the a5 one this is a, like an exact version of the a5 but just in the personal size so it has all your it's got the two pen holders again your zip pockets lots of little pockets I kept the little, what do they call those? Um, can't think what they're called now, but yeah, those things. Lots of pockets at the back here. And again, that's in the nice deep purple color. I also bought one in this nice tan color. This one I probably will be keeping because I really like the color of this one. And this hasn't really been used much at all, really. And then I also bought the pink version. And I think I might still, have think something in this by the looks of it yeah so see this is when I started doing my own little dividers and I was using this for my shopping list kind of thing so I would keep this in my bag and each of these tabs has got different sections of my wish list so to speak so we had regular notes which we had our pony camp list what to take that was just all blank paper. So then I had my beauty wish list and I would put all my the things that I was, you know, that I might have seen or wanted to look at and buy. Then I had my clothes wish list. What's that? House wish list. <laughs> it's funny to look back. I haven't really looked at this in years. Stationary wish list, craft items, DVDs, books. <laughs> music, gifts, um, miscellaneous, and some ideas. So yeah, I had this, this all sort of set up for my shopping type list. So I'll take this with me and tick things off as I bought them. And then it's got a little zip, zip pouch at the back here with some post-it notes a little credit card holder insert and then another one of those. So yeah, that one, that one I probably will be getting rid of, the pink one. I think the only one I'll keep out of the personal size is this little tan colored one. But yeah, I'm, I haven't fully decided yet, so there'll be in the future. I might even do a video on ones that I'm getting rid of and I'll leave some details of where, where, where you can buy them if anyone's interested. So that's those three little daytimer ones again. You know I'm saving the best till last so the filofaxes aren't coming out yet. <laughs> so this is another little one I bought. I think this one was a Franklin Covey. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know if you can see there. Franklin Covey or Franklin Covey. And this is a full, full leather one. Again, this is like a personal sized one but it's a little bit wider. I don't know if I can get this one to compare. See how it's a little bit wider than the personal size and a little bit shorter, but it does fit the personal sized inserts in. I think Franklin Covey also have different 
They got a different ring system or they match up? Oh no, they match up. So they got the six ring system that match up with the, the daytimer ones. This was like a nice, I don't know. I liked it when I bought it, but it's got a few little scuff marks on it now and I'm not really keen on the um, enclosure here. It's a little bit sort of wide. I guess if you like fat planners and you, you know, put a lot in your planner, it's actually very good for that. So this was my Franklin Coffee one, very pretty inside. It's got all like the paisley print inside. A couple of those plastic protector things and then a few pockets and inserts in here as well. This is definitely one I'll be getting rid of because I just found I haven't used this one at all, to be honest. And it feels beautiful, like it's so soft and buttery, like it's a really nice leather. But yeah, I'm just not using it. I'm just really not using it. And I'll be honest, I haven't used planners in a couple of years. I mean, because we're living in the like very remote country and we weren't going anywhere. Like, well, I wasn't going, my husband was working obviously, but. You know, I worked at the local school, which was literally across the road. We went to town maybe once every six to eight weeks to do grocery shopping and things like that. So I didn't really have a social life. I didn't have events and things to, you know, and dates I needed to put in my diary. So I just found I wasn't even using a diary or a planner or anything for quite a few years. But now we're sort of back back into a bit more of, you know, a bit more civilization and I'm, I'm going to work every day. I'm definitely going to be using a planner next year. So deciding which one to use out of the ones I've got is gonna be my next, <laughs> my next struggle. The next planner I bought was, I really, really wanted a Filofax Union Jack one. There was a, Filofax actually came out with a, I think it was an A5 size one and it had the red, white and blue Union Jack on it. And at the time when I wanted one, I just could not find one. Everywhere had sold out. They didn't have them online. They didn't have them on eBay. I just couldn't find one. So after searching and searching and searching Union Jack planners, I actually found this one on a UK stationery website. And I think it was called Paper Chase. Let's see if it's got it on the back here. Yeah, here. Paper Chase products in the UK. And they had this line of planner. This is an A5 size planner. It's vinyl. Like, it's not great, great quality. Not like a Filofax quality. It is good quality, though. Like, it, it's lasted and, you know, it's, it's done what it needs to do. But, yeah, as soon as I found it, I'm like, oh, my God, this has got the Union Jack. It's got such pretty colours. It came with like note uh, sticky notes and notebook sets that matched as well and I just couldn't resist honestly I can't remember exactly how much it's probably I'm, I'm thinking it would be along the lines the same pricing as a day timer so maybe around by the time you convert the UK dollars into Australian dollars it was probably around the 80 80 dollar mark maybe something like that and um, yeah, I really love the outside of this this one. And like I said, the quality's not great. It's a bit plasticky. Like it's yeah, it's not. It's yeah, it is. It's plasticky. Let's be honest. But yeah, I just love the design. I really love the purple and blue with the Union Jack and all the sort of you know gold crowns and things like that. I just really, really love it. And you know, it's a little sort of nod to England, London, which is where I was actually born. So yeah, and this came with its own inserts and everything as well. I think I was using this for my weight loss tracker. I was putting my measurements, my journal, the foods I ate, exercise ideas and notes. So that's what I was actually using this for back when I was doing it. You can see that's the regular tabs that were on it originally, the notes, addresses, diary, planner, agenda and information and I just sort of flipped them over and labelled them myself. It actually came with these little bookmarks as well which are quite pretty. So you've got a Big Ben book, bookmark here and then a bookmark that actually matches the 
the planner itself with little chains on them there as well. So they're quite pretty. I don't think it actually came with these. These you actually had to purchase separately, but obviously it's part of the same range. So this is like a little sticky note set, which I absolutely love. It comes with like a little magnet enclosed box. So you've got all your like your little sticky notes to match. A couple of little strip ones here, little square ones there, Union Jack and the fancy mirror. So that came with it. I think that was, you have a look there, five pounds. Um, I think at the time that might have equated to about seven dollars Australian. A little bit less than double at the time. And then it also, you could also purchase this. This is another sticky note set as well, but it's also got like a long to-do list, a notepad, some smaller sticky notes here and then a larger one here and that one was eight pounds which maybe was around fifteen dollars something like that I, I don't really know but yeah whatever the conversion was so i think all up the planner with the two notebooks and things and i also got a little pencil case that kind of matched it didn't have the union jack on it but it was similar colors which I think my daughter has now claimed. So I think the whole set was around $100, maybe a bit over by the time I paid for shipping. But yeah, I really love this set. I'll definitely be keeping this one. Probably won't be using this one next year, but definitely keeping it. I really love that one. Now, I did jump on the Kiki K bandwagon. <laughs> this is just a plain minty colored one from Kiki K. Got the Kiki K gold riding on the back. This is an A5 sized one again. And this one I haven't touched at all. It actually comes in a nice uh, little box. I'll show you the box. So it came in a nice little fancy box like that. And I've pretty much had it stored in its box since I bought it. I haven't actually used it. I bought this while I was out in the remote rural area and I just have never used it. So, I, but I, I do love it. So this, this is a contender for one that I'll probably be using next year, but not sure yet. So it's still got all its original inserts. It's got a nice peachy colored material inside with also the pockets and zip, zip pouches. It comes with a little to-do list there. It came with all these original inserts that were already in there and again I haven't used them little sticker sheet got all your monthly spread there meetings now what I like about the Kiki K ones is they're not calendar specific they're actually so you know that there's not dated calendars in here you can just write your own dates on them so you know that's why I wasn't too concerned about not using it as soon as I bought it you have a to-do list section then this is just I think like a meetings did it have anything on it? No, meetings, I guess there, or blank paper. More blank paper, more blank paper and blank paper. So yeah, I mean, you can buy the inserts, calendar inserts from Kiki K as well. So they fit straight in. It's got a nice little elastic pen loop at the side here. And this one's a full leather one. And I think this was around, ooh, $80. $79 or $84 something like that what whatever this I think they've got a standard price for their a5 size and personalized size no matter what color or style it is so yeah it was around the $80 range I really like that one that's a nice nice this is nice quality as well like it's it's proper leather I think it's proper leather is it well, this might be a vinyl one. I'm not sure, but it is good quality. A lot better than the, the Paper Chase one anyway. So that's a nice minty, minty colored one from Kiki K. Now, the other two I have, I'll get into my Filofaxes now. This is my pride and joy. My purple A5 Filofax Molden. I, oh, when I, I just, I didn't even want to use it when I first bought it. I just want to keep it in its packet and just sniff it every day now and again. I didn't actually want to take it out and use it. But yeah, I quickly got over that because I just loved it so much. Finally got my mold and, and it, yeah, it, it definitely wasn't cheap. It's probably the most money I've actually spent 
on myself in a single purchase ever. Like I think it was about $220. Definitely worth it. And this, this is a well used planner. This was when I was right into the, you know, decorating the planner and all that sort of thing. So in this first section here, just have a standard black pen. You have your zip pouch and to be, oh my gosh, what? <laughs> to be honest, this is the first time I'm looking at this diary, probably for about, well, let me tell you, I can tell you exactly the last time I looked at it. It was 2015, so two years. And that $10 note must have been sat in there for two years. Wow, that's a good score. Tape that back together and use that, definitely. Got a little zippered pouch here. Make sure there's no other money in there. How cool is that when you find money that you never knew you had? Got some, a little post-it note packet here that we just kept in there. Some little colored tabs in there. Book of stamps, which are probably out of date, so I'll probably put them in my diary, in my wallet as well. This was when I sort of started, oh, the dashboard. That's what they're called. These plastic sheets on the top of your thing, the dashboard, there you go. This is when I sort of started decorating my diary and, you know, getting into that whole phase of planners and was using sort of like post-it notes and stickers and all that sort of thing just to decorate my diary. It's funny when you look back now. Some days probably not so much. I made up some some of my own dividers as well, just out of scrapbooking cardstock. And that was the whole diary section in there. Has a little ruler here as well. Then some more cardstock dividers. I made up some of my own little inserts, which was like a weekly me menu planner. And then I had some different ideas for low calorie snack. And I had some like makeup inspirations and I used to just stick in there like a scrapbook. Then I had like little bucket lists that I had in there. So yeah, you, you know, you can sort of see I was always into that sort of making list. And yeah, that sort of the banking, more card stock. And I think at the back here was just some sort of like notepads and papers, extra papers. And so at the back it had a space for a notebook as well. And you also had two pen loops. So you had one pen loop here and then one at the front there. And of course with it being a nice buttery leather, very soft, very pliable, you could actually make this as thick as you want and it would still still close so, I mean that you know could probably be twice as thick as that and still be able to close quite easily so yeah that's my piece de resistance in my planner purchases I finally got it and he'll never actually leave I think I'll have him forever so that's that's my yeah, my favorite, I'd say, at this, oh, I don't know, there's a Kmart planner I'm gonna show you next that's mm, quickly becoming a cute little favorite as well, but yeah, this guy, he's always gonna be with me, so that's that one. I also then did buy another Filofax, I hope this is not too bright for your eyes, but I couldn't resist this. This I actually got off eBay, it was brand new, and it was super cheap and I'm not even sure why it was so cheap. I was actually a bit iffy about it, whether it was actually gonna be a real Filofax or whether it was even a scam auction or something where you would never even get the diary because I think this was only about $40, which I mean, even, even though it's only a very basic Filofax, like $40 is super cheap. I think they were still going for over a hundred. And this is, I don't know what, what is it called? The original, I think it's called. Yeah, Filofax the original. It's in an A5. It's in neon pink, which is super bright. Like really, it's like highlighter pink. It's very basic on the inside. It just has like a single flap and a cutout in that flap where you can put your cards and things like that that'll just sort of sit behind it here. It's got a pen loop, only one pen loop at the front there. And then I made my own little dividers. This I was sort of combining my scrapbooking and uh, junk journaling into my planners as well. So I made pretty 
elaborate and colourful dividers for it, which I thought suited the bright and colourful exterior. So yeah, these are just some of the dividers I made up, just out of scrapbooking and paper type journaling cards and things like that. So yeah, I really, really like this one as well. I don't think I'll ever get rid of my Filofaxes because they're just a, they're just a classic, aren't they? Like they'll never sort of go out of out of style, I don't think. But yeah, that's my A5 original in hot neon pink. It's probably not one that I would actually take to work and use, but definitely one I'd probably use around the house for whatever purpose. But yeah, I haven't got a purpose for it at this stage. And the last two planners. This one I'm really disappointed with actually. I bought this from Spotlight. It is a, what brand is it? Um, let me think, it doesn't have it on here. But it's oh, Recollections, I think. I think it's Recollections. And I don't know what I stored on it or how it got this. I'm hoping maybe if I get some sort of cleaner it might help clean it up but yeah all the front of it's gotten all scudgy or I don't even know what it is or where that's even come from but yeah I'm a little bit disappointed in that I mean no fault of the diary or the quality that's just stupid me not storing it correctly and yeah obviously something's sort of stuck to it or it's transferred some paint or something from somewhere but this is a really cute little diary like the or planner this is a personalized size one it's only a four ring binder so not I don't think all the um, Filofax personal size or anything like that will fit in it uh, the gold pen didn't come with it that's just the Kmart gold pen so inside this you have obviously you've got your gold and white stripe on the outside both sides it doesn't have an enclosure so it's just sort of closes that way it doesn't have a snap enclosure or anything and you've got three little pockets here and then a larger pocket at the side there and then there's no other pockets at the back it's just a plain sheet like a plain board at the back but um, the actual inserts are quite cute so you've got a nice little dashboard clear dashboard here that's got white dots all over it and a nice little gold heart so it sort of gives a bit of dimension to the front page and then again this one's a multi-year diary so there's no set dates on it you can create your own dates and each month has one of these little I think they're like a photo photo storage pocket or you know whatever you want to put in there I guess which is nice and then you have a little to-do list checker at the front of each month and then the monthly calendar spread and then it goes into a week by week so you have your weekly spread for each month and each month is the same then so you have your February or at the back you have your make today great like a little note paste uh, a note page so then for February it's the same you've got your February title You've got your little plastic sleeve, your to-do list checkers, your monthly spread, and then your week by week. So that's a, a really cute little diary actually, uh, or planner, sorry, I keep saying diary. Yeah, that, that's possibly one I might use next year because I don't want a big one next year. Like I just want to have something I can put in my handbag. So it's definitely going to be one of the personalized size ones that I use for next year. But if not, the next contender will be my little favorite at the moment okay as long as the purple molden doesn't hear this but this is my rose gold little personalized planner from Kmart this was like a unicorn at one stage like everyone was going crazy about them it was only ten dollars for the diary they're, they're still like you can still get them now it's only ten dollars personalized size beautiful rose gold and when they first come out, everyone was just snapping them up, going crazy trying to buy them. So for, for a long, long time, I, I could never get one. I could never find one. And because we didn't really live near a Kmart, it was, yeah, it was just impossible to even ever have a chance to get one. But then since we've moved up here to the mid-north coast, um, my closest Kmart now is Port Macquarie. So, I mean, they've always got them in stock. There's, there's boxes and boxes of them in stock now. 
So if anyone does want to get one and they are still looking for them and you're in the mid north coast area, Port Macquarie Kmart always has a large stock of them. They've just got at least two or three boxes on display at any one time, every time you go in. So this is a nice, a nice little diary. And I have a feeling this is the one I'll be using next year because I'm a bit obsessed with rose gold at the moment. So inside, again, this is just a multi-year calendar. So it's not, it doesn't have set dates or anything. So you can use it like, you know, whatever year you want. It's just got a little protector in there. So, I mean, this is a $10 planner. So, you know, you can't expect a lot, but I think you do get a lot for $10. So the quality is not the best. It's obviously very plasticky, but geez, for 10, I mean, even if this was, $25, I'd, I'd still buy it. I think it's worth it, you know, even if the quality's not there. It's just a really nice little planner. So you have your two little card holders in the front. You've got a flap here that you can put larger papers in there. And then your first dashboard sheet says, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. And then you've got a little paper clip attachment. Yeah, so you've got a little post-it note flap there. You've also got another little pocket flap and then you've even got a sheet of, oh, a couple of sheets of stickers to use in your diary as well. Different tabs, another sheet. And then it starts with your week to a view. So you've got your week to a view tab. You can put your personal information there and then your week to week. Very plain inside, but you know, you can decorate it yourself if, if that's what you're into. So you've got your week per week all the way through. Then you've got your planning section where you can put all your to-do lists and it comes with quite a few to-do list sheets. Another tab section with just blank paper and then the rest, yeah, they're all just blank paper but you've got quite a few tabs there to make your own little sections and lots of little note paper to do that with as well. And then you've got another notebook at the back here. And it also, I'm pretty sure, it, did it come with this pen? No, I think the pen also, again, is from Kmart. Just a, I think it, that was the same pen as in the other one. So yeah, that's a really cute little planner. And I have a feeling this might be the one I'll be using next year. Just as the one that I keep in my handbag, put all my, you know, when my bills are due and things like that. So that's my whole planner collection. A few people have asked to see it, so I thought I'd show it. I mean, it's, it's interesting if you're, if you're into planners, I guess, but if you're not, then it's probably a pretty boring video. Like I said, when, when I do decide to get rid of some of these planners, I will probably put a little video up about it and, you know, sort of showing you what they'll come with and um, how much that I'll be selling them for. So if any of you are interested in purchasing one of these planners, I will definitely let you know. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.